Good morning and welcome back to Jim Snedeker Music. Today, what I would like to do is show you with this little screen tutorial how to install the new version of MuseScore, MuseScore 4. To get started, I'm showing you on the screen my applications folder. And we're going to be looking at MuseScore 3.5. That's where we're going to start today. So I will double click and this opens MuseScore 3.5, the current version, the version uh, it's been out for a while. Uh, when this opens up, of course, you see the Start Center, uh, some scores that I've been working on, some announcements. But to begin the install, download and install of, my, of MuseScore 4, I'm going to close this. Now we see this message on the screen. An update for MuseScore is available, MuseScore 4.0. We don't want to click OK because all that does is make this little dialog box go away and we miss our chance to update. So I'm going to click on MuseScore. Now I want you to pay attention to the top right of the screen when I do this. You'll see the download occur. And there it is. Now once we know the download has occurred, we go out to our Downloads folder. Okay, and up at the top, this very first file is the Muse Score uh, Muse underscore Hub dot DMG. That's a disk image. We see that was downloaded today at nine forty seven. So to begin the download and begin the install, it's already been downloaded. Begin the install. I'm just going to click on that. Here's what we're going to get. Up comes the graphic that shows us very simply. All we have to do is take this icon labeled Muse Hub and drag it into applications like so. Hi, thanks for hanging out with me today. I've got a free gift for you. So make sure you either click the link in the description or click that little banner in the top of the screen. Now we get this message that an item named Muse Hub already exists in the location you want to replace it with. Um, I am going to do something before I do this step. You see, I still have Muse Score open. I'm going to close this, if it will let me. <laughs> Hang on here a second. We need to close that out that window. And uh, we need to close that. All right, it still doesn't let me do it there. So I have another way I'll close Muse Score. I go down here, I right mouse click, and there's my quit option. So I will quit Muse Score. All right, now all my versions of Muse Score have been closed. So if I hit replace, I still get a message. The operation can't be completed because the item Muse Hub is in use. That's okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back here, now put that into there. Now, because I've already done this before, and it's just telling me that Muse Hub already exists in this location, I don't want to replace it. I'm actually going to stop this operation now. For the sake of showing you how to do this, how to install MuseHub, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to Applications. And here on Applications you see MuseScore 4 is, has already been installed. And that's why I was getting these messages that told me that it was already here, do you want to replace it, wouldn't let me replace it. It's because I installed it to practice for this video. So what you're seeing now is the result of an earlier install. At this point, I will cl click, double click on MuseScore 4, and this is what happens. MuseScore 4 loads and opens this up 
into the score folder. These are some scores I've begun to work on. This is where things start to look familiar. Here's a score I was working on just yesterday. Um, so to help you navigate a little bit, here's what it looks like when you open it up. I'm already logged into my MuseScore account. That's what this uh, top left is showing us. That's my user ID. Then I have the option of looking at scores. I'm on the home screen, but I'm looking at the scores on the home screen. Now, if I go to the scores page, I actually get to see the first score. This is the one I was working on yesterday. And then when I'm ready, I can click on the publish button. I'm not quite ready yet. If you look around the score, you'll see I've been putting in the left hand accompaniment and I'm not done yet. And we'll pick that up in another video as I work on that. So what I wanted to do today, just very briefly, is to show you how to download MuseScore 4. It can be a little confusing because if you're using the previous version, you could go a long time and not install MuseScore 4 because of the way that dialog box works. So just click on the link and walk through the steps. It's a very um, well thought out implementation, I believe, of the installation function. And this is what you'll get. So that's all for today. I hope you'll join me next time when we dig a little bit deeper into this new version of MuseScore.